Hi everybody, Elin here. Today I come to you guys with a recommendation video. So today I'm going to talk about LBTQ plus um, books. And I have, I think it is, eight books um, that I want to talk about. Um, and I've been wanting to do this recommendations video for a really long time. Um, so lately I've started to read a lot of LBTQ plus books. And um, I definitely want to read more. But yeah, I think we're going to start now. So, the first book where we have LBTQ representation is Six of Crows, Duology by Leigh Bardugo. And this is about Six Dangerous Outcasts, One Impossible Heist. And I'm not really going to say much more than that because it's kind of spoilery, but definitely have an OTP in this book. So, yeah. Gay Romance. Duology is awesome as FYI, so read it. Then the next we have is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And this one's sort of been talked about a bit on Booktube lately at least. And this one is about Percy and he's supposed to take over his father's estate late, uh, later, but his father doesn't really like the way he's um, carrying the family name really because he's not really living up to the part of this um, really like a wealthy dude um so he's going to go on sort of a trip across Europe together with his sister and together with his friend Percy and we quite early find out that Percy is actually bisexual and he has a crush on, crush on his friend Percy and um, it's so beautifully written and I really really love the book and even though it was quite thick it definitely flew through this book and um, yeah it's really cute romance and also a lot of kick-ass moments in this book so you should totally read it and then we have more happy than not by adam silvera and he's definitely one of those authors that like really writing books about lbtq plus um characters which i love of course really good and um and this one you meet aaron and he's 16 years old and after he lived through this uh, family tragedy he just wants to find happiness again and uh, he does this with the support of his girlfriend Gwenoir Gwenoir, I can't pronounce that <laughs> and also his best friend Thomas um, who will really open up to and talk about all the difficult things he doesn't really want to talk to uh, talk about with everyone else he knows and um, and he starts questioning himself when uh, he com becomes closer and closer with Thomas and he starts thinking about doing this uh, revolutionary memory alteration procedure and maybe that will help to start to him out uh, and yeah so this one was definitely really hard to predict what the hell was going to happen and I like the characters and it's um, gay characters in this one so really like that book then I mean I, if you have watched my channel or read my blog or whatever um, then hopefully you knew I would talk about this book because I freaking love this book so this is Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becca Albertalli and in this one you meet um, Simon Spear he's 16 years old um, he is gay and he's not out of the closet yet and He's been writing these emails to a guy named Blue, and Blue does go to his school, but he don't know uh, who the other person is. Um, but one day he's logged into the school computer in the library, and he forgets to check out from it, log out from his um, email account, and this guy reads the emails and tells the entire school about it. Um, so Simon's sort of forced out of the closet, really, and then he's just trying to figure out who Blue actually is. Um, and this one was so beautifully written. I love Simon Spear because he's hilarious. He's a Harry Potter nerd. I mean, definitely my book boyfriend if he were straight. So that's it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful romance, and it's so cute. Um, just trying to figure out who Blue actually is, and it's really hard, and it's heartbreaking, and it's just perfect. You just you need to read this. And then we have If I Was Your Girl, The Murder of Russia, or Omya Vadin Shea, as it's called in Swedish. And in this one you meet Amanda. And uh, Amanda actually wasn't called Amanda from the beginning. From the beginning she was Andrew. Um, so she went, went through this um, sex transition to become Amanda and her she was living in this town and everybody knew about it and she was having a really really rough 
time so she decided uh, in a small town in the American South South <laughs> and it's going really well she makes friends and she meets this guy named Graham and she's really starting to like him and they're hanging out a lot but she doesn't really know if she can tell him um, about the fact that she used to be Andrew before because she's afraid that the same thing will happen in this town as it did in the last town um, so this is really really beautiful really well written and it went so fast to read and I absolutely loved it and the characters are just amazing and you really feel um, a lot uh, with Amanda and the trouble she's going through and it was just perfect really and um, you should totally totally read this because it's so good and then we have Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner and in this one you meet Julia and she learns the hard way that you can't always really trust your friends um, because she did a graffiti mural and she's like spray graffiti across the gymnasium wall um, she actually goes to Kingston School for the Deaf and her best friend supposedly best friend snitches on her and she has to go to the principal and when she has she's done a lot of artwork graffiti all across the town and she notices that someone's starting to tag over what she's been doing and that doesn't really fit well with her um, so she's trying to figure out who it is and everything like that and it's very diverse because Julia she is deaf and she has two mothers and I really like this one really quick read and there's a lot of like pictures and stuff like that so you get to see her graffiti and everything like that and you get to learn a little bit sign language it's not a lot but a couple of pictures of it so you can learn and I really really loved it and I do want to read it but that I can pretty much say with a lot of my books. Now we have The Upside of Unrequited by Beck Albertalli which is the second book in this video of her I know but I mean you can't do a video about LGBTQ plus characters without having Becky Albertalli in it. Um, so in this one we meet 72 year old Molly Preskin uh, so so and she's had like 26 crushes and she's never been like never dared to do anything about it because she's so um, scared of being turned down and then we have a twin sister Cassie and she doesn't fall off them but when she does she falls hard and when she gets a new girlfriend um, she also comes with this cute hipster um, sidekick called Will and He's funny and for chases and all of that, and m maybe Molly can see herself being with him. And um, there's one problem though, because at Molly's work, there's this guy named Reed, and he's like uh, the Tolkien fan, and he's really nerd and everything like that. Um, so she might like him instead. Um, so let's start. There's a lot of diversity <laughs> in this. Um, Molly's twin sister. She is a lesbian and her girlfriend, I th think she was asexual, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I think that was it uh, was what she was, it was a couple of months I read, since I read it, but I think she was asexual, and Melly, uh, Melly, Molly and Cassie have two mothers, and there's like a lot of diversity, um, they're LGBTQ+, plus, uh, they're white people, they're black people, they're Molly's chubby and then there's some skinny and some are tall, some are short. It's a lot of diversity in this one and I really like that about this book. Um, so you should definitely read this. A Fire and Stars by Audrey Caldhurst and I love this cover. I don't, I'm so bad at remembering names but in this one you meet Princess Danelia and she's supposed to marry this prince from another kingdom to you know make sure there's a peace um, thing between those two countries and um, in the country she's supposed to be married into magic is forbidden it seems like something dangerous and you know not supposed to have it um, but then Leia does so that's a problem and also because uh, she doesn't fall for the prince she's supposed to be marrying um, she actually falls for her for his sister instead so it's fantasy it's lesbian relationships and it's so good and I really really like it so 
read it. So these were all of the books I'm going to recommend to you guys today. Um, I do hope to read even more Bidoku Plus books and if so I will be doing a part 2 of this video but as of right now these are the ones you should definitely check out. <clears throat> if you have read any LBTQ plus um, books, no matter like what genre it is, please let me know down below and I'll totally check them out. And if you like this video, please give me some thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button down below. And hope we see each other next time. Bye!